Two years ago, I made this game timed control in 48 hours. Despite the fact that it was really bad, it's a concept that I have always wanted to expand upon and remake at some point. However, I don't want to make it in 2D. This time, I want to adapt it into 3D and then see how it can be further improved upon. In the game, your stamina decreases after you do any action. You need to kill enemies to pick up cards to get stronger. The main issue is that losing stamina for every action makes the game not fun and the upgrades don't have much of an impact. My goal is to improve upon these concepts and make it into a better game. And now, it is time to make the game. I first started to work on a turret that will attack enemies for you. I made it check for certain objects within its range and it turns and points towards the nearest one. However, a turret is kind of pointless if there's no enemies for it to attack. So I made a square. Now if this is intended as a reference to the original game or if it's just a way to add an enemy without animations, that is entirely up to you. I also added a health bar above the enemy that will turn and point towards the player which then makes it a lot easier to tell how much health they have. Now I want to ask you something. If you wanted to make the turret shoot at the enemy, it should be easy, right? All you have to do is make it spawn a bullet and then just move the bullet forwards because the turret is like already looking at the enemy. So then how did this happen? And then after far too long of just messing around, I finally got the turret to shoot at the target correctly. However, when I told them to rotate, I only made them look left and right, meaning they cannot look up, which led to this. And then after changing a single line of code, I was able to make them actually shoot at the target regardless of their Y level. And then, as you know, this is a game we probably want to work on the actual gameplay. I know, genius stuff over here. At first, I wanted it to have more of a focus on the tower defense aspect, which then I didn't end up following through with, and then because of that, even though I made this arena here, I like had to change things around with it. I did end up adding a dash ability that would be the main usage of stamina because like taking it away as they move around is just, as I mentioned before, is just not fun and then like at least with this you can still like play the game even if you don't have much stamina left. And now it is time to make a weapon, however, in order to do that I need to put my amazing animation skills to use. And then after getting the sword walking, I noticed something. It's just not fun to use. Typically when you attack with a sword in a game, you want a powerful impact feel when you actually hit something. In this game, it, it just goes through the enemy like it doesn't exist, which it's fine gameplay wise, but then when it comes to game feel, it is terrible. I do have plans for a way to like somewhat fix this, but first let's talk about the upgrades. Another big part of timed control was the upgrades that would drop on the ground and then you get two random ones to pick from. Ignoring the fact that like there was only three options, there was no way to guarantee the upgrades that you want. Introducing pressing the E key on your keyboard. All you gotta do is find the right upgrade station, press E, and if you have enough money, you can get any upgrade that you want. I made this using two arrays of numbers to determine its cost and the output of each upgrade, which then easily allows me to like choose how the upgrades scale. And then, curiosity struck me. What if I added a turret to the enemy and made it attack the player? What if it could also walk? Well, we got this. Now this is pretty unfair. They have a ranged attack and you have a sword. 
you see the issue? So I decided maybe instead of a sword I could add a ranged weapon. Because like what, are like the enemies going to fight each other somehow? Well I guess that's a thing now. Before I went to add a new weapon, I called my friend Doorbell for like two hours and then we finally managed to make the camera bob as you walk. It uses a sine wave that goes whoop and then it bases the, the camera position off of that and a few other things. And now, it's time to add a gun. Just kidding, I wasn't able to make it walk. But this was probably a blessing in disguise, as I ended up making a bow and arrow instead, which honestly I think is a lot more interesting than like another gun. This works by slowly increasing a timer while the player holds down their mouse button. This is to simulate them slowly pulling back the bow and then it increases until they let go or if it reaches its max value. After the player lets go, it launches the arrow forward and then multiplies its velocity by the multiplier. I also use the multiplier to determine how much damage the arrow will do as well. However, as the game goes on, it does get difficult to fight off a giant group of enemies because you can only attack one at a time because of the arrow. So we have a bow, and we have an arrow. So how do we make this into an area of effect attack? I decided to make an upgrade where your arrows will explode upon impact. And with my previous experience with making explosions, this should be pretty easy. It's made the like explosion stuff work. You, you know, it's it's kind of cool, and you can kind of do. Yeah, and I'm not sure why, but I wanted to make the arena be at nighttime as well. So then I made a few new models for a tree crate, barrel, and a street lamp, and they are honestly all kind of bad, but it is a start though. I put them all together to form a new arena that was intended to kind of be like a park at nighttime, and it's nothing crazy, but I'm actually kind of happy with how it generally looks. I gave the player a flashlight as well because there's not light everywhere, because, you know, it's it's night. But then I placed a few upgrade stations around the area and then some places to buy towers. I also added like two settings that you can change and then believe it or not, it actually saves them. And this also gives another use to the explosive arrows because they give off light as well, which is, you know, nice when it's nighttime. After adding a main menu and some music and sound effects, the first version of the game is pretty much done. I am considering making a follow-up video at some point where I further improve the game and fix some issues with it, however no guarantees as I am really bad with keeping up with videos. And then even though this game is really not that good, it is special to me though because like this is actually my first game that I have released that was not specifically made for a challenge, which I honestly find very cool. You can try the game on itch.io in the description, and if you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing as it really does help out. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but at the time of recording this, we are actually approaching 1k. I want to thank everyone for the like support on the recent video, as that single-handedly got us to the point we are at now, and yeah, it's just been crazy. But yeah, thank you for watching.